Hello everyone, welcome to this video tutorial. I'll be showing you how to make or create a gradient here in Corel Draw. It's very simple and very very easy to do. So as I show you how to create a gradient, I'll be showing you a few other tips and tricks that will help boost your productivity while using the Corel Draw software. Right, so without any further ado, let's begin. So um, I'll be showing you how to create a gradient with um, the interactive view to here so um just easy steps so these are the colors we're making use of so first of all we want to create a gradient for this shape here so you first of all give it a few color then you right click to remove the outline so um you head on to your toolbar section and select the interactive view tool so what it does is it dynamically applies the current view to an object in the drawing window so we'll select it then hold on shift or you can just drag to whatever angle you prefer yeah, so um, this is actually okay so um, you can drag this color into this box here or ctrl z just hit on the spacebar to bring back the previous two or you can actually click on it then this drop down menu appears here then you select a color of your choice so um we've successfully created a gradient so this is the coral draw icon so um we've created a gradient for it so um, this gradient can be applied to backgrounds can be used on text for instance let's copy this ctrl c and ctrl v Right, so you can actually copy the properties of this gradient into this text without actually creating it again so this is how to do you just select this then use the right click button and drag over the text then you copy all properties it's very much simple another way to do it is um you come to your status bar and where you see this fountain here so you just drag then you drop it here so um this is how it works again you just select it first since it's not selected here is actually black nothing is here yes so you select this then the fountain appears here so you just drag it into the text and you've actually copied the properties here so whichever one works for you so um another way to do it another thing again is um you select the tool then you can actually change the direction of the gradient so this is actually linear this is elliptical fountain apply a field that gradually changes color in concentric ellipses from the center outward so this is another option so you just play around with it until you get what you want so this is another type again and um, you can actually adjust it to your own preference if you're not satisfied with what it gives you so um to add more, more than one color again you just this line here you double click on it then another box appears here so it gives you options to add another color so you just click inside you just click inside and this drop down menu appears then you select another color of your choice so you can pick let's say um, this is a red color so you can select another color so this is actually terrible but um, just to show you an example so um, this is it basically so let's undo that so we hit on the space bar to bring back the previous two so um to actually remove this third color just double click on it and it disappears yeah and it disappears all right um hit on the space bar again and um to know the direction of the gradient or to change the direction of the gradient you use this um, use this line here and um, to add a color use this here to change or add a color use this line here so um, another thing again is um, a situation whereby you're giving a color to use without actually it being present in the document or color palette here so let's take for instance this you have been told to use these two um, hex color code to create a gradient 
so this is how to work on it so you first of all you copy this I like this then you right click and copy so let's use this one as an example so um give it a few color first then you select the gradient tool and you drag over so this drop down menu that appears here you select it then click on this area where you have show color sliders so you can actually change the color of this or you come to this area you have this sorry this yeah so you control v you paste then hit enter you actually apply the color so another one again is when you select this and you just drop down menu here when you come to this area you have color show color slides then you copy the second one and you copy so you click on it and this drop down menu that appears there you select it then color show color sliders then you paste and hit enter so um this is another gradient you can see uh, you can actually adjust this to your own preference depending on what you want also you can actually add it to background text or whichever thing you want to use it for so like I showed you, this is another way to add it, so just drag it to this or you just drag it over here and copy all properties. So whichever one works for you. Then um, there are a few other things to note again. You can actually change the colors here too, besides clicking this area. And um, that is on how to create a gradient here in CorelDRAW. So these are just the basics thing you need to know on how to create a gradient in CorelDRAW. It's very simple and very very easy to do. Alright guys, um, if you found this video helpful, do want to hit the subscribe button, turn on post notification bell to get notified whenever I upload new videos. And don't forget to like, share and comment on our videos. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video tutorial.